Welcome back to the Living in St. George, Utah channel. This is Sue and Courtney here, and in this video, we're going to show you a really awesome part of St. George, or the St. George area, because technically it's in Washington. And you're going to want to watch this video because the worst thing that could happen is you could move out here to the St. George area, and then you could pick the wrong spot. So we are actually boots on the ground because we want to show you what it's really like. We want to be outside and give you an idea of what it's really like here in St. George. So we are going to show you Washington Fields in this video. Video, so stay tuned. So first let's give a little overview of what exactly Washington Fields is. So Washington Fields is in a centrally located area of Washington and you were saying that it kind of doesn't even really have a meaning anymore, right? No, we used to distinguish Washington Fields from the old town Washington which was downtown but now that the fields have grown so much when asking somebody where they live they just say Washington anymore. Yeah, so kind of, you know, if you hear someone saying Washington Fields, they're probably talking about the flat area of Washington where there's a lot of farm fields, use a lot of bright green fields, really nice views of Pine Mountain. But like Sue was saying, I mean, St. George is changing so much that everything is changing. There's always some new development popping up. Um, you know, there's some new store popping up, new names are popping up. But, you know, that's just kind of what we're talking about when we're talking, when we're saying Washington Fields in this, in this video. If it's a newer area, it's definitely in the Washington Fields, where we used to call it the Fields. So before we continue, let's just introduce ourselves. I am Courtney Dazon. And I am Sue Halterman. And we are licensed real estate agents here in the state of Utah. And if you are thinking about moving out here to the St. George, Utah region, call or text to that number that's right there. Call or text that number and we will set you up with a member of our team and get you started on finding that perfect property for you. And subscribe. subscribe. Push that button and subscribe. Subscribe too because we're going to be doing a lot more tours as well because we want to get our boots on the ground and be outside to show you what it's really like to live here. So here we are in the middle of Washington Fields and we are just standing in front of a giant house that's being constructed right now. We just wanted to use this just to show you just kind of what's happening here in Washington Fields. You will see this just giant houses popping up. We'll show you actually one on this tour that was actually in the Parade of Homes, another giant house. So I don't know if you want to add anything about these random houses. Oh my goodness, they're giant houses. <laughs> this one right here, I bet it's probably maybe 12,000 square feet. So if you're looking for 12,000 square feet, we have it in St. George. Oh, excuse me, Washington Fields. <laughs> yeah, well, everyone, everyone just says St. George for yeah. the whole region, so that's what we're talking about. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> yeah, and here we are, we're on the other side of the house, and Sue was marveling because it is so huge, it looks like two houses, but it's actually just one house. This is a perfect marriage situation. You could live in this house, your husband live in the smaller house, ah. and your kids to the side. That is that is a really good point. Really it pays good point. to have money, Courtney. <laughs> it does. It really does. They say more. Pro they say more money, more problems, but I don't believe that. No, no, <laughs> less problems, more space. <laughs> I'll take the money problems. That's what I'll take. And then just behind us, I just wanted to show you. Pine Mountain, this is just a beautiful feature of this particular part of the St. George region because in pretty much all of Washington Fields you can see just how beautiful Pine Mountain is. Right now it's got snow on it and then you see the red cliffs below it and then the blue sky above it. It's just so gorgeous. Pine Valley Mountain's probably about 45 minutes away so if you want to see the snow, quick 45 minutes. Yeah, we were just up there uh, because our daughters are the same age so we were just up there playing. Sledding. Yeah. It's fun. So here's what I look like after going down this hill. Snow everywhere. So here we are. We are in one of the newer neighborhoods of Washington Fields. And again, you can see Pine, Pine Mountain beyond us. Um, I don't know, Sue, you want to go into like what's the kind of homes that are available here? I know you were saying, so we will go across the street. That's an older neighborhood. And Sue can kind of explain what was it like, you know, 12, sure. 12 years ago versus now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. 12 years ago, yes. There's a neighborhood just right across the street. These homes are probably uh, built in the last three three to four years ago. And um, this is a lot of what's popping up in St. George, all these new builds, um, and the, the off-white coloring, the dark garages, that kind of aesthetic is now in and trendy. So these homes are probably uh, somewhere 2,200 square feet to maybe 5,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, and 
We're seeing a lot of like three car garages, some RV garages, um, you know, that kind of stuff. Three car garage is very popular here in St. George, Utah because people love the outdoors, so they got to have their toys, right? They have to have their toys <laughs> and an RV garage so they can have a boat oh, because yeah. 10 minutes from here is Sand Hollow. And Sand Hollow is a nice boating uh, lake that people like to get to and take their families to. It's fun. Yeah, I mean, if it were the actual normal temperature about now, it'd be about boating season. Oh, but this would be perfect. Yeah, yeah, but it's been rather cold this year. And the homes in this particular neighborhood of Washington Fields, there's probably, they're, you know, they're probably starting around 700,000. But again, this is at the time of this recording. That can change any time, which is why you've got to reach out to us because you've got to get the most up-to-date data on how much these homes cost. And then we are going to go to across the street. And that neighborhood, because it's a little bit older, probably going to be about $100,000 less than this neighborhood. So here we are. We're just across the street in a totally different neighborhood in Washington Fields. And as you can see, it's a totally different style because it's older. Yeah, 12 years, 12 years. So we were back in the stucco, brown stucco, kind of a basic construction color. So this is what you see. And there's quite a few neighborhoods that are this aesthetic and the variation of square feet. Yeah, and then what would you say, you know, guessing around median price here? I think maybe 600. You could start at 600, where, like you said again, across the street starts at $100,000 more. So we have an exciting little part of Washington Fields to show you right now. We are on Adams Lane. And Sue, do you want to tell the story of this? Because I she's can. been telling me, and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> this is nostalgic to, to Washington Fields and the area. So Adams Lane, this little community here, just one street. It was just one street of these, at the time, gigantic homes. They're still quite large. Mm -hmm. But I was telling Courtney that these homes in the, the late 1990s, early 2000s, priced at 600000 Now, we just came from the neighborhood just yards away. Yeah. Six million dollars they're yeah. starting at or in that range. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. And this street, it's so beautiful. It kind of reminds me, like, you'd think of, you know, southern estates, like in Georgia or something like that, these tree-lined streets. And, Sue, you were saying you can tell because you have the old-growth trees. You yeah, can see. the mature landscaping. Mm -hmm. So if you want to pan around, yes, these trees are, they're mature. Yes, so 19, late 1990s, 1998, mm -hmm. in that to early 2000s is when this single street was developed. So Sue, you were explaining, you know, uh, you know, when this was first built, this was kind of just in the middle of nowhere, right? Nowhere. Correct. Correct. I think what happened was, is these people uh, wanted a lot of land. These homes are probably on at least an acre, if not two or three acres in Adams Lane. And as we go past another farm field, I'm pretty sure it's alfalfa that's being grown right now, but obviously Washington Fields, very flat area of St. George. And it's you can tell it's the farming community. There's definitely still farms here. There's definitely horses. I see a lot of horses. There's actually Staley Farm, a big farm uh, over here on this, this right hand side. Yeah, so that's just for me personally. I like that the little touch that it adds, the farming touch. It just add, for me because I love, you know, I have the fantasy of having like a hobby farm, but you know, this will never be reality. But I think everyone wishes that they lived on a little hobby farm and could make a living like that. So <laughs> kind of gives you that feeling when you're here in the Washington Fields area. And then now we're just going to head to the mall right now, the Red Cliffs Mall, just because we want to show you how much is changing over there. Still rather a small mall. However, there's a lot of stuff that's happening and it just exemplifies how much St. George is growing and changing. Alrighty. We're back at the Red Coast Mall. Yes, we're here at the Red Coast Mall. We just wanted to show you kind of how St. George is changing. And this is about 10 minutes, I'd say, about from Washington Fields, 10 minutes from Stuky Farms. Uh, Kai Sushi is opening soon. So there's always some restaurant or store or something new that's happening. And yeah, this mall is changing a lot. I mean, it's getting a lot bigger and they have plans for more, right? Oh yeah, yes. It's gonna be more outdoor than it has been. So. Yep, they're in the beginning stages, so I'm excited to see what it looks like later. So here we are. We just wanted to show you downtown as well. There's always something new happening here, always seemingly like a new restaurant is opening, a new store is opening, there's an event going on. Like this weekend, there's going to be an arts festival. There's always something happening down here. Yeah, and there's 
right now because it's a spring it's tourist season here in st george so it's super crowded <laughs> all these people down here but there's always stuff to do uh stores restaurants that kind of stuff we're about 10 minutes i'd say from washington fields 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes from stuckey farm so yeah and then obviously you have you know the fountain uh for the summer and all of that good stuff so this is just a really cute part of st george and from the mall it was just 10 minutes yes and this grassy area during the summers is really fun for the kids they have movie in the park Oh, cool, yeah. And just beyond here, just across the way here is the splash pad. So, three yeah. things to do yeah. all the time in this park. Mm -hmm. And there's this uh, merry-go-round. Yeah, super, super cute. Just relaxed and, you know, fun stuff to do. And remember, as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you find that home of your dreams. So if you are thinking about moving out here to the St. George, Utah area, call or text that number right there, and we will get you started on finding that perfect property for you and subscribe and if you have any questions just leave comments down below and we will get back to you and we did say we would show you the washington fields home that was in the st george utah parade of homes here it is for a cool 5.5 million dollars Remember, as much as we love making these videos, what we love more is to help you find that home of your dreams. So if you are thinking about moving out here to the St. George, Utah area, call or text that number right there and we will get you started on finding that perfect property for you. And subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave comments down below and we will get back to you.